It's Feedback Gaming. Welcome back to my Mamluk series on EU4 Cradle of Civilization. <clears throat> Things are going quite well. We've got almost maxed out, well, for the most part, maxed out professionalism. No, not professionalism. Army drill. For both of our armies. Oh, 95.8. Never mind. Not all the way, but close. We've got a nice defense to the north, which I'm happy about. I think we're going to go for this next idea. Uh, maybe. Yeah, I think we can, might be able to get all three of those in one go. But is that even worthwhile? Probably not. We do have an extra leader as well, don't we? Okay, so our... Our alliance and royal marriage has run out with Bajar, so we're going to annex them. We can probably work on annexing you as well. Max relations with you is good. So we can start annexing you, which we'll do immediately. Building relations up with you so we can vassalize you. Oh, they've expanded too. That's nice. Still vassalization's available though. That's good. There's, a, there's no fort here anymore. Traveling minstrel. Uh, again, an artist, an, <laughs> an artist of the Coptic faith. I wonder what difference that actually makes if the, the faith of the actual person that arrives. I don't quite get it. Fifty admin. We need admin points, right? So to get this. So okay, let me just stop. I'm doing so many things at once. So we have the ability here to. To do the hostile thing. I assume to do this, you can't set the new policy for 12 months. Yes. So this is going to increase by 25% how quick we build a spy network in this region. Is it this region? It is. Yeah, it is. Uh, the death of a bishop. The bishop of Ethiopia has died. Oh, this is to do the Coptic land thing, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because uh, we, we old areas of the Coptic faith. I think Antioch. I think it's one of these areas as well. So we can be an absolute dick and just keep denying them all the good stuff. So what are we when it comes down to it? We're all the way towards uh, legalism. We gain some unrest. I think we've... Oh, 35. This is a really bad event. Eep. It's in Aleppo. Oh no, we're still okay. It's because we're plus three stability. So we're already, we can balance it out. Um, we can do this May next year. A renaissance. I think we're going to go through all three of these immediately. We've annexed you. That's good. We don't need those three. Get rid. What does this idea do gives maneuver not really something we get to take advantage of so it's not that really much of a big deal uh, but we will try and get as many claims as possible on you so we can annex you with the least amount of admin cost um the next one's going to cost us 30 i think we'll wait for one more and then we'll be good medina max relations good that's good then we can vassalize you too Okay, my Sultan, the Custanian of Holy Cities has happened to us. So it classes as an ownership. It classes as an ownership because we control Mecca. Interesting. All right, and we are going to go for administrative ideas. What's the one that reduces the cost of advisors? <gasps> Technology cost minus 10% on the third one? No, we don't want that one. What's the one that reduces the cost of advisors? It's this one. Innovation, my dears. We look weak. Lose five prestige. We look weak? How? We've got the... Our army's maxed out. Oh, no, it's not. It's close to be maxed out, though. Urbanization. Oh, hell yeah. Free admin, guys. OK, 
conversions on the other hand are a little bit lacking. I think we should try and branch out our conversions, even though it's going to take a very long time. We've gone piety in the wrong direction to benefit from that, but it's okay. Incorporate Medina, gain diplomatic reputation, protect our brethren in Ra 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 Raba. No, I think we'll go for incorporating Medina because we are working on that anyway. Lose admin or Diplo. We have to lose the admin. Oh, fuck. Everything we do, we just seem to piss them off even more. Okay, so we're going to go to here. There's 23 stack. Yeah, we'll go. Let's go. And we're, uh, we can do one more as well. Pija is the capital, isn't it? Yep, yeah, we'll do that one. Who are they allied with? No one! So we can stack wipe them instantly. We are going to take a little bit of damage here from attrition. You can see the attrition losses like immediately. Breaking a truce? When does the truce end? BJ ends in 1481 in June. Oh, next, next two months. It's almost like I knew, eh? Hey? Oh, they're allied with Fazan. Oh, cool. We get to make a new... In that case, we get to make another vassal, I suppose. Yeah, why not? Um, go here. We got to go for the artillery. We can. Oh, actually, we can get artillery now too. So that's something we want to try and phase into. Bijar, go here. Where are you going, my dude? I'm going to chase after you. Really, dude? Oh, my damn. I think we've got... I think if you've got high army professionalism, I think you do get a speed bonus. I'm not sure, though. No, you don't. I'm wrong. Totally wrong. Can you not do that, please? Oh, the desert. I have to go through the freaking desert. Supports legalism... Or mysticism. Oh my god, we've gone for that one twice now. Alright, I am going to chase you. Do I want to go the other way? Probably not. Ah, this wouldn't have happened if I could stack wipe them immediately. God damn. Did this guy got one stack? Yes, that's it. Whoa! I thought that was the case. Now they do have an extra army. Got him. Has this guy got siege? He's got one siege pip. Is this gonna have the no it won't. Alright, just go here. There you go. Boom. Yep, yeah, there we go. Yeah, let's go here. Medina. Where's he gone? Is is here. Oh, they are sieging it down now. Goods reduced. Gone. Alright, at this point, I guess we can just go back and start drilling again, because our allies taking care of it, aren't they? Done, done, done. 40 army stack, yep. And then you guys go... 36. Why is this one 40 here? Monte Devastation Reduction. Do you know, in all fairness, we should be annexing these countries, shouldn't we? We should be annexing because we've got admin points, haven't we? Yeah, I'm, I'm kind of doing it in the wrong way. That's why my diplomacy points are kind of off off the scale right now. Infiltration of Ethiopia gains 75 spy network? Lack of demand for jewelry. Infiltration of the Ottomans. 
Our military professionals have made our retired deserted officers very attractive to other countries in the region, so much so that they cannot properly vetting the defectors they recruit. Our spy master reports that we have managed to get a number of the agents into the service of the Ottoman... Oh! oh I'm reading this completely wrong. Okay. Steal the maps of Russia. No. Support rebels. Fabricate a claim. To be fair, I don't really need to take advantage of any of that. I, I was what It was appearing in red. And I'm assuming because it was appearing in red, it was meant the exact opposite of what it was showing. Western Indian Africa or Horn of Africa. Sure. There we go. We can see more of this. <clears throat> Shame we can't steal any maps, though. Why have you got... Oh, it's this guy. Seriously, dude. Uh... I guess we could de declare war on them later and take, take them out. They're going to annex. Yeah, they have. This land is pretty much useless land too. The Emirs want some land, which I will give them. There's a fort here, so I'm going to put one here. You get a defense bomb from Emirs if they're uh, over a certain level, so that's going to be a good case. Going to be a good benefit to me. Extra tax. Extra production. One, two, three. Gain extra trade power. Curious to see if I should get full trade power in this region when I go for this one. What's going to happen? So this gives extra 5% node bonus. The city of Mecca. It's here. Holy Moscas of Mecca are responsible not only for the Holy Shrine, but the state of the claims of the honor is also respect to the fair, blah, 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 blah. Uh, lose tax or lose stability. Are you joking me? Oh, what? I thought that was going to be a good event because all the city ones are all like good events, aren't they? Oh, come on. Really? But think about it. If I promote this guy... Oh, that's going to cost us a lot of money to promote in there. Because you have the ability to promote now, which gains them an extra skill point. I'm just curious to see, like, a level 4 and 5 skill points, what the overall impact is. I'm curious to see as well, like, due to our overall country size, from tax, how much are we earning? Is there a tax breakdown? What's this? Is this per state? Oh, here we go. 17. Not far off France and the Ottomans. Where's the rest of this army? Has our army suddenly just got shrunk? There's missing two divisions here, two regiments. Must be going mad. The extra shock damage um, for the artillery is going to be really worth A new level of professionals, man, I can refill garrisons. Which is this button. So it basically refills the garrison. If I think you have to be standing over it, though. Refill the local garrison with manpower from the army's infantry. Fort garrison is already full. So this is a way that if you intercept an army that's garrisoning a fort, you knock them back and you win. You refill the garrison and then go off somewhere else. So that way you don't have to stand on the province and, uh, well, wait around, I suppose. All right, so we're going to make some further gains. Where are we going to attack? I feel like attacking Yemen is going to be a nice meme. 
They're not going to let us annex them diplomatically. Merchants are being harassed. Gain a Cassus Belly against Yemen. <laughs> okay. Sure. But because it's a diplomatic Cassus Belly, it limits what I can do to them. And it limits what kind of options. War goal shows supremacy. Yeah, it's pretty pointless, really. They've got a lot of trade power here, probably. Yeah. I, I am going to attack them, but I need to get some... Uh, Spy network in them first. Can't annex you until 1940, another five years. I'm gonna drop the forts. Forgot about we could slacken our standards as well to gain more manpower. So, five mil professionalism is the equivalent of five years, isn't it? Interesting. Recruiting a mercenary as well drops your overall professions by 0.15. That's pretty much a month and a few months and a bit, isn't it? Legalism or mysticism? More legalism, please. I have the ability to go for this now, which is probably going to be smart. We're not going to be leveling anything up, so let's just go for it, because our leader could die at any time, so it's something we have to take advantage of. And this is where we get a 5% discount. to man military support and it's pushed it into the red. Uh, peasants are upset. Um, more legalism, sure. But we can't convert this now. No, we are still, still truly Al Ulfa. What the hell is that? That's so small too. I imagine it won't even cut. I'm probably going to take more casualties from attrition than fighting them. Because they're all peasants. I only lost 1,000 dudes. Uh, new Marasha. Yes. That one. My lord. Uh, has increased his maneuverability. Nice. He's a three-star general now. What a god. I think pushing towards Ethiopia is going to start being an option soon. Maneuver's good, so we get a 5% discount too. The diplomats died, he was a good guy too. Is this Egyptian? Yep. Yeah. Improved relations? Sure. So one thing that's going to be sure for this campaign is that I'm going to have a lot of admin points. And I'm probably going to have a lot of money because of it too. Those two things are going to sit on top of each other. Mercenary maintenance is useless because we're not going to use that. The Ottomans are just sitting around at the moment. They've not really made a lot of gains. They've got a vassal. Oh no, they've not got Crimea as a vassal yet. There's an event for that. It's the decline of Crimea or something and then they get, uh, get sucked into a vassal ship of the Ottomans. That's good. That's good. That's good. Gain administrative power is worth. And we could probably drop the f inflation down too. Can we get this next one 5% off? No, it's run out. In fact, we should probably still do it though. That gains extra trade power and trade range. This gives us prestige. Manpower recovery is very good. Oh, that's so good. Discipline's always good. Production's okay. Stability is okay. Trade efficiency is nice. Uh, this gives extra provisional trade power modified by 25%. 25% that's quite high, isn't it? Hmm. Separatists. How long until they'll spawn? 20 years. Okay, that's not a problem.
All right, the income's kind of balanced out a little bit now. I think because of that visor we've just lost, which was costing a lot anyway, it should all be balanced right now. This guy's 50% cheaper. This guy, we went for him because of the manpower, didn't we? Gonna go for the cheaper morale guy. Okay, so we plan to push further south, haven't we? And... Oh, and then of course the Yemenis. I feel like we should resume what we were doing just before, shouldn't we? And go for the Austral trade thing. Uh, I need to have a merchant in Alexandria, it needs to be over 50%. But pretty much all of this is already sunny anyway, isn't it? Apart from a bit here. Oh, this is a state, isn't it? That's why. Oh god, we can go for the... Oh man, we're catching up now. This guy, the priority now is to be needs to be switched back to military monarch points. Um, can we use some of these points? This is silk. Local production value and local production efficiency. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. There you go. Use 500 points. Uh, this gives us some free money. Trade guilds and fraternities. Fraternities? Move towards legalism. Extra prestige. Oh my god, that event's so good. It feels like it's such a no-brainer. I think the way they probably see it is because you're struggling with manpower as the as the Ottomans, they probably think you always want to go towards mysticism. And I've kind of broken the game right now because I'm doing the exact opposite. Rebels in this area. Um Oh my god, what's this? Increased trade income by plus two until 1821, so for the rest of the game. But, monthly autonomy also changes too. Or the bottom one, or the... Oh, one of them reduces administrative costs for, uh, for 20 years? 15 years? No, I have a choice really, I have to go for that. So we have to deal with the fact that our autonomy isn't going to go down as quick. 1.8 years, whatever. Wave of obscurism, yeah, sure. Okay, I think when we've gone for this one, we can start declaring war now. We need a total amount of 30 points. Our philosopher has died. Um, this guy is Bedouin. Is it this guy's? So as our culture expands and we get stronger and stronger, we're going to be incorporating more and more cultures, aren't we? Hmm. There's a Tunisian. Is this Tunisia? I guess so. It's not an accepted culture. Go for this guy. He's Egyptian, isn't he? Yeah, sure. Reduces. Hey, it reduces. Oh, that's good, actually, because it's reducing unrest as well. Uh, move towards legalism, extra relations with Rosanians. Rosanians are back? Oh, it's these guys. <gasps> oh, they're a vassal of the Ottomans, so they're going to get annexed soon. Oh, hello. They got annexed. So we've lost our ability to get hold of the 10% discount guys, haven't we? It's like you have to keep them as a vassal forever, wouldn't you? Does that mean that that culture has gone forever? It might actually be the case, you know. When when the scholar has gone, it might actually be a scholar that's gone forever because this list has got shorter. There's a one there as well, so we might have to just vassalize this guy. I want to take advantage of that 5% discount. Try and stack as many as I can. Aggressive, aggra aggressive expansion impact minus 5, 10% is good. War tax is already gone for, ratio is good. High developed colonies is useless. Plus one combat in terrain of the capital. What's the capital's terrain? It's farmlands, isn't it? Yeah, it's useless. Not even that many farmlands around here, is there? No. 
We have to literally lure them to our capital region to actually do that. That's pretty pointless. Uh, we're going to go for aggressive expansion impact. We can also build our city up. Is that enough? Yep. We have a large city now. Extra artillery piece. So this isn't my usual strategy, is it? I've had to kind of modify what I'm doing to kind of adapt to what's going on. Oh, really? Uh, so annoying. I'm gonna have to wait another month too. Oh my god, that cost me three thousand dudes. See the professionalism was completely beaten up. I keep getting professionalism and armor drill mixed up. They're pretty much very similar stats, aren't they? How old is my uh 56? He's due to die. As <laughs> sad as it might sound, he is due to die. Um Alright, that's good. What's this one? That's oh, the Yemen one. Oh, it doesn't matter. We're gonna have to declare war on Yemen now. Um, go for you, go here. We're gonna have to split the army in two as well. Who is he allied with? Nobody important. Hurtful trade policies. In trade. Oh my god, what? Another one of those no brainer ones again. Like, where would they have. Oh no! I was just saying, why would I not want to go for that? Oh, okay, 10 years. In 10 years, urbanization ends. Actually, two things happen in 1500, so we're going to have to find out when they, they try and take control. Switch places. Boom. And then we need the artillery. It's got Siege 3, that's so good. Alright, we're going to declare war. Um, this will reduce our legalism by minus 16, who cares. Uh, enemy allies? They've got a lot of allies, but there are a lot of smaller nations, aren't they? That's no, okay, I don't care. Uh, we can. I think we're pretty confident we can beat them up. We've got a god general, our army professionalism is sky high. Gain two production in growth of businesses of satin. Our efforts to maximize trading profits in the area of Aleppo has, has borne fruit in the province of Alab. Okay. Fair enough. Oh, insta stack wipe. Oh, oh baby. Oh, actually, don't don't send them all. We can send our other dudes to attack. Hardy seamen. Always good to have good seamen, boys. Go, 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 and there we go. This is a good spot to sit on too. So if they try and move across the strait, ooh, hello, hello, hello. So we have another army down here that we can take care of. Can start to sort you out too. We're gonna to lose quite a bit of manpower. I can feel it. Are you? Oh, they're retreating. God, we siege that down quick as well. Can't go around here. We have to go through. I think what we need to do now is assign our other general, our best general here, and give my other general to this guy. Go here, and then go here. Are we good? I think we're good. I think the music's a bit loud. Let me just drop the music. I need to worry about that for the time being. How are we doing for tech? Oh, we're going to have to tech up soon, so we need to hold on to these points. Oh my god, absolutely smash them. This might be a wipe. Ooh, close though. Hardy warrior. Alright, go here, go here. Um, we could take that up. I don't really want to do it though. To be honest with you, we should actually go for that one. 
because god that's so strong institution cost and technology cost and that's going to make the technology upping costs going to be cheaper as well thinking ahead boys We need the artillery too. Is there anywhere else we're getting sieged? No. I've got a fort here as well, I've forgotten about. I want to adopt this new culture too. You know what? Let's do that. Yeah, let's do that. Ah, we're going to be. Oh, I see how this works now. So it's always going to encourage you to adopt culture over converting. Because it means you've got more cultures within your empire, and then the more of a multicultural farce it's going to be. <clears throat> it's going to be a farce because of the way your monarchy works. Oh man, I really like the way this, this new system works. I think it's really cool. Where do you think you're going, dude? You're going to be able to get, get him? Yeah, we have. No! We managed to get away. How? We got another dude we can hire. Got him. Didn't really die then, but did a lot of damage anyway. Is this Yemen too? Yeah, it is. Go here. We're going to Yemen, boys! Alright. Are we going to go here? Oh, the only problem is we've not got artillery pieces. It'd be a lot easier to seize this down. Um, oh, this guy, I really want to vassalize you because you're that culture that we want. Oh, no, that's a plus one merchant guy. I don't care then. In all fairness then, in that case, I want to give you to Medina. Oh, he won't let me have it. Okay. We need to completely decimate them. Can we move the artillery over? Are you going to let me do it? Oh, please let me do it. Oh, yeah. I will be able to snipe that army as well. That's wiped. And then go here too. Oh, I have to play ridiculous chase games with you. Our generals died, was it? No, it wasn't our god general. It's one of our good ones though. I think we're just going to move up north here and intercept and fight them wherever, wherever we can. This is the first big war that we've been in for a very long time. We've just been drilling for years upon years upon years and we're finally actually getting into combat now. Feels good. Plaguing Cairo. Boo. Okay, so who else are we at war with? We're at war with this guy. This is probably our biggest rival too. I think we've already sniped his army anyway. So the minute this war ends, we're going to regain our drill back. And we're going to use that ability to spawn. Uh, where are you going? Oh, we've got this guy. There you go. Makes me feel good now we've got this guy. That desert. We have to go around the deserts here. Really want to get this guy sorted now. Oh, we got it. Almost. Are you running away or? Oh, as if you're gonna escape me. <laughs> How are you doing this? So fast. He's got two maneuver and I've got one. We can adopt uh, the Renaissance. Yes, I have no shadow of a doubt why we shouldn't do that. Let's do that immediately. No longer a rival for Venice. Does that project me in the world power? Fourth now. Okay. Oh, we finally catched him. Got him. Please wipe. Thank you. Whew. All right, we need to siege this down. Are we done now? Actually, now I think about it, I'd like to annex all of this. There's a famous Egyptian historian who belonged to the Mamluk elite of Cairo. Support him fully, lose diplomacy points, lose money, legitimacy, and, and none of those things we do need. 
<laughs> okay. Oh, I didn't really want to do that, but whatever. All right, okay, we're having trouble with looming disaster here, so pl platonic coup. Uh, where is it? Where's the crises? This will happen on the 1st of October, 98. I can't believe that. Uh, this is owned by the Elmar. Uh, boy, 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 boy. I have to take that off you, aren't I? There we go, we're sorted now. Lost a combat, but there was no ship sunk. Ooh, we need to spend these points. Um... Yep. Got him. Alright, this is pretty much the end of the war now. We're actually really fleecing them too. Tell me I can annex Yemen. Oh, actually, now I think about it, I want to do this guy first as well. Yep, take all your money off you. Go. We're going to have a lot of cultures now, aren't we? Yep. Oh, you won't let me accept that. Are you kidding me? All right, we have to switch the general over. Where's the artillery that I've got? Oh, it's here. I think we're going to send you back now. I don't think we're going to need you. Then you. I'm going to bow back to here. No, I, we had the right guy. I forgot that we had three generals. All right. This episode is running over massively. But I want to conclude this war before I continue. In fact, no, you know what? No, I'm not going to. I'm going to leave this on a climax. Anti-climax, shall I say. So, remember to like and subscribe. Drop us a comment below. And I'll see you guys on the next episode. Have a good day. Bye-bye.